right, so today we're gonna be uh, working on some chain some more. This time we're actually working on three, two, five chain, trying out some different things. Um, so we've always known that Steel's 23RS chain is has always been the fastest out of the box chain. And I basically started this project out trying to copy Steel's 23RS, trying to copy the grind and everything. Well, I discovered that my grinder is not capable of producing the same angles. Um, so, you know, the way everything tilts and everything, it's just not capable. Uh, it's some of the stuff is slightly out of, you know, range up for the, uh, the grinder. That and they definitely use some sort of size of grinding wheel that I'm like, I don't know. Um, I feel like it might be smaller or bigger or something. I think it's smaller. Uh, I actually think they're using like an eighth inch grinding wheel on it, their chain. Um, but maybe it has like a double cut. Like the, I don't know. It's it's weird to kind of look at it really close and try to get a wheel to line up to it because it just, you can't, I can't get it to, to work out. But, you know, I kind of took the basics of what their angles were and I'm, I'm working from that point. So what we're looking at here at this chain is um, we started out with a 57 degree head tilt. That's the closest I could come up with for what the steel RS chain might have. Um, a 35 degree top plate angle with the 10 degree tilt on or tilt on the chain. So as best I can tell, they are close to that. Um, they're definitely something different about it though. Something, I haven't figured it out yet. So basically what you're gonna see is me run this chain using a 57 degree head tilt, but then like the last video you saw, we ran, we discovered that a 55 degree head tilt, 35, 10 setup was faster. So that's the second group of cuts you're gonna see. So you're gonna see it first at 57 on the head tilt, and the second group of cuts, we took it to 55 degrees on the head tilt. Both of these are a little rougher feeling than I'd prefer them to be. We might need to go with a little shallower um, raker adjustment. We'll have to see. Um, so I had put some text up on the previous video that I found an issue with my grinding equipment. And I, I think it said there was three videos that are kind of messed up, but Two of the videos, I'm scratching them. I'm just not even gonna show them because the information is incorrect. So, you know what I mean? It's, for, it, it, it's incorrect to a point as where the results you're seeing is not accurate to, the, to what I actually had to chain sharpened at because I discovered my raker gauge was not accurate. I had bought a raker gauge that I was going every, off of for everything for, for months now. And, you know, it says it's at 25 thousandths. And the other night there, just on a whim, I decided to, to double check and here it's actually sitting at 35,000. So all of these rakers adjustments I've been making for months now that I thought were at 25,000 were actually at 35,000, which explains a lot. It explains why a lot of my chains recently have been getting kind of, I don't know, they've been feeling kind of rough, rougher than normal. Um, some of them, you know, being quite hungry and so forth. So that explains a lot. But I set myself up with uh, my calipers and set up a depth gauge and everything and just did it by hand and got her to 25 thousandths. So that's what you're seeing here. But we're gonna put you up two different groups of cutting, one with the 57 degree head tilt and the second group is gonna have the 55 degree head tilt. And then we'll kind of see if we changed cut times at all. See what direction we need to go. Do we wanna go, is the 55 degree head tilt faster or is the 57 head tilt faster? Uh, we kind of want to see which one might be faster in the end, you know, kind of see what direction we want to go. I did prefer the feel of the 55 though, had a little more self-feeding feel to it. So I did prefer the feel of the 55 degree head tilt over the 57. It had just a little bit more self-feeding ability. Um, not a whole lot. You would have to run two back to back really to notice it, but it is definitely there. Um, and I forgot to mention, this saw does run an eight pin sprocket currently. Um, definitely has more torque behind it with, with a seven pin, but you know, I've been running it on the eight pin just because I like it with the eight pin. <laughs> so yeah, hey, 
Uh, check it out. Two groups of cutting for you. <laughs>
enjoyed this little test video uh i'm gonna wait till later to do the edit so i can't tell you which one's faster right now um i got a feeling the 55 degree was faster though just by the way it felt but i wouldn't be surprised if it's the other way around um so you got some test cuts here some of this was oak some of it was a mystery wood and i think that one might have been maple so yeah hey I hope you enjoyed this little little testing on this saw and hey we'll catch you on the next one later